Hey there, Amanda from the Happy Homestead. We're gonna do something fun today and exciting. So y'all know I love mushrooms. We inoculate and grow our own shiitake mushrooms for gosh, probably six or seven years now and they're delicious. We've tried other kinds and have had some success but I'm gonna try a new kind today that I've never tried before. And this is called the wine cap mushroom. So this bag is a bunch of sawdust that has been inoculated with the spores. And if you look, you can kind of see the sawdust is white. And that's basically the mycelium colonizing throughout the sawdust. So over the last few days, I had to make multiple trips with my car <laughs> to the hardware store and get bales of hay. So wheat straw, I got four bales of hay. I now realize I think I got too much, um, but I soaked it in water and then spread it out. Um, and I'm gonna take you over there and we're gonna go through this and we're gonna put the spores out. So this is the spot where I'm gonna do the wine cap mushroom bed. This, these are blueberry trees. And so from what I'd read, wine caps prefer shady, acidic areas. And so this soil is certainly acidic for the blueberries. And as you can see, I have a lot of straw, but it is pretty moistened. The other reason why I decided to do this today is it's going to rain over the next two days. And so I really wanted to take advantage of that and allow the rainwater to soak through the straw as well as through the mycelium. So I buy my mushroom spores from Field and Forest, and that's fieldandforest.net. I'll link that below. They are my favorite mushroom supplier. So I'm gonna open the bag. I'm just gonna break up the spores a bit. And then I'm gonna spread it out. And I'm gonna hope that I get some good wine caps this fall. These are supposedly the easiest mushrooms to grow. And if you've been doing any kind of mushroom growing on logs, this is supposed to be immensely easier. So it should be, I'm excited to find out. Here we go. And that's it. I'm just gonna fluff the straw a little bit to help get the mycelium in it. Tuck it away. Okay, and as you saw, I went through and pressed everything down just to keep the spores really well under the straw. I don't want to see any chunks of that sawdust spore around. That's how easy it is, supposedly, to grow wine caps. I will check back the next time we get a full harvest. I think there's a honeybee around me. <laughs> I can hear them and see the shadow, but I will check back with you once we get our first harvest. Stay healthy, stay well. See you next time.